Right now I was just going to test the voltages, so I figured I'd do a little video on it. And this is um, just a standard power supply that you're going to see in a lot of games. So let's turn it on, because you want to make sure that the voltages are accurate going to the board and uh, within range. You don't want to screw up your board. So let me plug this in. We're going to test from these points here. And you want to avoid the ones at the bottom. The ACs don't screw with those because those are not going to help you out. They're going to hurt you if you start poking around at those. So we're just going to do these DCs. We're going to do the, the 5 volts plus and minus and the 12 volts. So I have um, my multimeter set to voltage here, DC. Okay, so we'll go black on the ground here. Now we'll test the um, plus 5. Let's see what we get. 5.4, that's a little high. Now let's see the negative 5. Again, black on ground. I touch this one here. That's wow, 5.1, that's eh, okay. It's still high, but not by much. And black on ground, let's do the 12 volts. 12.7 so again they're all a little high so let's uh knock it down a little it's not a big deal if it's a uh, a little high or low but you want to get it as close as you can okay so black on ground let's do the plus five okay we got five and a half five Five, which way are we going here? Okay, this way is up. So let's go down. There we go. That's pretty darn close. Now what's going to happen is all of them are going to rise and lower, you know, like a tide here. So, But you want to get the plus five as spot on as you can. So again, let's uh, try this one, the negative 5, and the 12. So now we're low on those two. So I'm going to come up just a hair on the 5 to bring the others a little closer. Five point, let's just do close to 5.1, that's close. And let's measure these other two again. Four, eight, oh, and that's really close to 12. So that's pretty good. Anyway, that's about it. That's how you do it.